Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable fast user switching on Windows 10. So, this should be pretty straightforward, and basically fast user switching, as the name implies, will so allow multiple users to use the same computer without interrupting what each of them are working on within their separate accounts. So a user could sign into their individual account without other users being automatically locked in or out of applications. So in order to disable this, we're going to go over a couple different ways. The first way would be if you're running Windows 10 Professional or higher. This method is definitely easier, so that's what we're going to start with in this tutorial. And that would be to open up the Start menu and type in GP Edit. Best match to come back with Edit Group Policy. You just want to left click on that one time. Again, this will apply for Windows 10 Professional and higher editions. I will show Windows 10 Home Edition method as well, but I feel that's unnecessary if you're running Windows 10 Pro. Let me just get the faster method out of the way. So we're just going to wait for that to open up momentarily. So now we're going to make this a little wider here. I'm going to drag the sidebar over a bit. Now you want to go underneath local computer policy. So underneath here. And then you want to go underneath computer configuration. So the first section. And then you want to expand administrative templates. Either double click or left click on the little arrow next to it. And now you want to go and left click on system. So there should be a system folder here. You can expand that as well. So now if you scroll down underneath, once you've gone underneath system, you just want to go and left click on the logon folder. So it's subfolder basically. And now you want to locate the setting on the right side that says hide entry points for fast user switching. Right here, double click on it. Now you want to set it to enabled and then left click on apply and OK. Alternatively, you can use the registry editor. So if you're using a lower version of Windows 10, so Windows 10 Home. So you could open up the start menu, just left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should say regedit. Right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now you want to expand HK local machines, so either double click on the folder or left click on the little arrow next to it. Do the same thing for software. And you can see the path up at the top as we go along here. So you're more than welcome to rewatch parts of the video as well. But we're going to then go underneath Microsoft, so expand that. Now you're going to go underneath a Windows, so scroll down here a bit. Right here, expand that. And now you want to expand current version. And once you have done that, you want to go underneath policies. So look for policies here. Expand that. And now we're underneath policies. You want to go and left click on the system folder. Now that we're underneath system, you want to look on the right side here for something that says hide fast user switching. Right here. And if you don't see one, that's fine. You just right click on the system folder right here, left click on new, and then select the word 32 bit value. However, I already have one in here. So again, hide fast user switching. There's no spaces as well. So you want to make sure this value data in here is set to one. So if it's anything other than one, you want to delete it, type one, and then just left click on OK. I would suggest restarting your computer at this time, and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.